The study of mule deer in the Sheridan region continues in an area between Casey and Buffalo. 48 mule deer does wearing GPS collars were recaptured earlier this winter by Wyoming Game and Fish Department biologists. To evaluate the condition of the herd, identify factors influencing animal survival while learning about seasonal movements of the deer as well as their habitat preferences and what effect chronic wasting disease is having on the herd. This herd has been under the management objective of 18,000 animals for several years. The Upper Powder River Mule Deer Study began in December 2018 with the capturing and collaring of 70 mule deer does. The collars record a GPS location point every two hours. In addition to the recaptures, 18 collars retrieved from mortalities that occurred earlier in the study were redeployed on new animals. Wildlife managers take body measurements, collect blood and fecal samples, download current data from the collars, and use an ultrasound to assess body condition. The collar is reattached and away they go. So far in the study, 48 deer have died with the collars placed on new animals. The leading cause of mortality so far has been chronic wasting disease with 15 deer dying of the disease. Predation from animals ranging from mountain lion to coyotes ranks as another cause, along with pneumonia, hunter harvest, hit by car, poaching, and trauma. Seven deer had an unknown cause of death. During the 2020 hunting season, this herd was targeted for chronic wasting disease surveillance. The goal is to sample 200 harvested adult bucks to provide a reliable CWD prevalence estimate. Comparing harvested adult buck CWD prevalence with the CWD data being collected in the study will offer new information about the different disease dynamics observed in bucks and does. In 2020, 131 samples were collected from hunter harvested bucks, 27 deer tested positive for the disease. The study will wrap up in December 2021. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.